In the world of men's footwear, there are few names more recognizable than Allen Edmonds. The company was started 100 years ago in Wisconsin, back in 1922. They rose to prominence by supplying footwear to the military in World War II, and their most popular shoe model, the Park Avenue, has even been worn by several US presidents. But with a $395 price tag for many of their dress shoes, they aren't cheap. So are they worth it, or is it all hype? Thomas with Real Men Real Style here, and in today's video, I'm going to uncover whether Allen Edmonds are still worth it 100 years later. Now I own two pairs of Allen Edmonds, specifically their Park Avenues and Strands, two of their most popular styles. I've owned both pairs for around 7 years, and they're both still in great shape. Allen Edmonds does have a lot of other dress shoe styles, as well as boots and sneakers, but I'm mainly going to focus on their dress shoes, which they're best known for. First, let's talk about construction quality. Allen Edmonds shoes are manufactured in the US, in Port Washington, Wisconsin. The upper is made from calfskin leather, which is strong, but more flexible and smoother in texture than cowhide, and it's easier to break in. The shoes have a leather lining, and a custom cork footbed, which will mold to the shape of your foot over time, making them even more comfortable. The soles are made from vegetable tanned leather, though they do offer options to add a rubber sole if you want more traction. Their shoes are made with a 360 degree Goodyear welt, which is the most durable and water resistant construction method. A Goodyear welt also has the benefit of when the soles get worn out, they can be replaced. Allen Edmond offers a variety of widths, everything from quadruple A's to triple E's. I have a bit of a wider foot, so I go for a size 10 triple E, which fits me beautifully. So if you require a particular width, you'll find exactly what you need. Honestly, they're very comfortable to wear. I often go swing dancing in my strands, and they've never let me down. Overall, the materials used and the quality of the construction on these shoes is very, very good. Right, Whether you're using an electric, safety, or cartridge razor, consider using an aftershave balm. Applying this after you shave helps to cool the skin and prevent redness. Now, gents, the grooming products you see in today's video brought to you by Vitaman. And instead of me telling you how awesome they are, how about I put a link down in the description of today's video so you can try them for free. Seriously, gents, use that link in the description to grab a sample kit over at Vitaman for free. Now let's talk about style. The Park Avenue and Strand are made on the Allen Edmonds 65 Last, which is their most popular shoe last. It's a bit more elongated in the toe than some of their other options, but it's still not as long as European style dress shoes. Now for all the benefits of that Goodyear welt, it is going to result in a chunkier sole, compared to if the shoe used a Blake stitch instead. So the dress shoes aren't going to be quite as elegant or streamlined as some other brands of shoes that take their inspiration from Italy or Britain. That said, these are classic American styles that still look great. Let's talk about longevity. Being made with a Goodyear welt, Allen Edmonds shoes can have the sole replaced whenever the leather wears out. A local cobbler can do this, though Allen Edmonds also offers their own recrafting service, which not only will replace the sole, but will also replace the heel, cork bed, and they can also refinish the leather rubber. They can do this two to three times over the life of the shoe, so you can easily expect to get a decade, but likely two or three out of each pair. I've owned these two pairs of shoes for about seven years. I don't go to many formal events, so I don't wear the Park Avenues that often but I have worn the strands for hundreds of hours. I try to take good care of them, using shoe trees after every wear, and honestly, they've held up beautifully with minimal creasing. Now let's talk about the price. At $395 for many of their popular shoes, Allen Edmonds is definitely not the cheapest option, but I wouldn't say they're overpriced either. They're pretty middle of the road compared to companies like Beckett Simonon and Ace Marks, which are between two to $300, while other brands like Alden and Churches quickly climb from $500 up to $1,000. Now, Allen Edmonds does have a big anniversary sale every year in April, with around a 15% discount on popular shoes like the Strand and Park Avenue. I will say, the best deals can be found on their Factory Seconds website, which has shoes that have minor blemishes. That's actually where I got this pair of strands, for about $250 back in 2015. I couldn't even find the defects that prevented them from selling it at full price. So in conclusion, would I recommend getting Allen Edmonds? For me, the answer is yes. Even after 100 years, the quality is still there, and I would happily buy them again, even at full price. I personally love the American style of dress shoes. They look great and are super comfortable, so I'm always looking for excuses to wear them, versus some of my cheaper shoes that I have in my closet. Shoes at this price point are an investment, so it's a bit painful to buy up front, but they will last so much longer than those cheaper pair of shoes. Now what about boots? Check out this video guys, where I'm going to cover all the differences between cheap and expensive boots. 